Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella, if you're new here, if not, then hello. So today's video is going to be really useful for the students out there. I'm going to be sharing my five most useful websites for students online. Now I know that Easter is approaching so students will be coming home and I also know that with everything that's happening at the moment in the world that more and more universities and schools are closing and switching to online classes. So I thought this video would be really useful to help all of the students now working from home. The five different websites are all quite unique, some of them are for motivation, some are to help the daily routine and some are just to help with revision in general. So I thought that I'd share with you guys today these five different websites and if at the end of the video you have found it really helpful and useful then please let me know down below and make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and without further ado let's just get into the video. So the first website I'm going to show you is called Sleepy Time and it's going to be so useful for all the students having to change their routine and start studying from home. So if you haven't heard of Sleepy Time before, it's a website that tells you when best to go to sleep. So you can enter when you're planning on getting up and it will work out based according on REM cycles when to go to sleep. This website is so beneficial for the students having to now work from home or if they have started their revision timetable because, and I know a lot of people can relate to this, when I'm at home I like to stay up as late as possible, I like to sleep in as much as possible but this website basically enforces you to go to bed at a perfect time and it basically just depends on when you want to wake up. It's a completely free website and it's really easy to use, like I say you just enter when when you want to wake up for and it will tell you when you should aim to go to sleep, when you should aim to fall asleep. So yeah, Sleepy Time is the first website that is really beneficial for students. The second kind of websites that are really beneficial for students are the websites that help you write to-do lists and calendars. If you haven't already seen my video on how to stay motivated when studying, I touch on the subject of planning and I thought that I would include it in today's video because I can't stress enough how important it is to plan out your days. Especially when it comes to Easter, I know students will no longer have their university or school timetable and normal routine, so it can be really easy to kind of switch out of a routine and basically laze around at home. So I can't stress enough how useful like to-do lists and calendar websites are. You can get a Google Calendar and write out what you're going to do each day and you can write to-do lists daily to make sure that you know exactly what you're going to do, whether it comes to doing your lectures, if you now have online lectures or if it comes to studying. There are so many different websites on these. I know that Microsoft do a to-do list, um, Google do a to-do list, there are so many different ones and they're all free which is really useful and yeah I just can't stress enough how important it is to plan out your days and plan out your weeks especially if you are now no longer at school and university. The third website is to help not get distracted and it is called Keep Me Out. Now I know some of you will already know this website but if you don't it's basically a website where you can block specific platforms whether it's social media or you know websites online that you get distracted really easily on and it blocks it for a certain amount of time, you can set the amount of time and it's just really useful, especially for the students now doing online work and if you like to study using your computer then it's really important to make sure that you don't have any distractions. I know that sometimes I get really distracted on my computer, if I just see a notification come up then I'm really likely to click it. Keep Me Out is just really useful to help not get distracted, it will warn you if you go on it too many times and you can actually place a bookmark so it stops you from being able to click onto the website. I know that there are different kind of websites for these, you can also get apps if you like to work on your phone which is really useful. So yeah that's my third useful website, Keep Me Out and it can really help you not get distracted. 
So the fourth website I'm going to tell you about, I'm sure all of you guys have heard of it before and it is called Grammarly. Now I like to write essays on my laptop and I know that some students still like to write them out on hand but since we are now approaching online lectures and online classes then your teachers and lecturers will want to see your essays and your work online. You'll have to submit it through an online forum. So Grammarly really helps with this. So if you didn't already know, Grammarly helps with your grammar, with your spelling, with making sure that your sentences are coherent and understandable. And yeah, it basically just helps with everything when it comes to essays and pieces of writing. It is just a really useful way to make sure that everything you write is coherent, makes sense and it also checks for plagiarism as well which is so brilliant. It's just an overall really good website that can help and since more and more students are now using their laptops and going online to submit essays and work it's just a really useful and beneficial website. Okay, and my final useful website is Quizlet. So Quizlet is this website and app which helps with revision. You can make your own flashcards. They have little games to help you basically memorize information. I used to use it so much when I was doing my GCSEs and I was doing languages. I would make flashcards on the language, the word and the translation. And it's just a really fun but useful way to memorize information. Lots of my friends still use it now when it comes to university. It's completely free and you can also work with other people on it. So if your friends make their own pack, you can actually go onto their profile and learn that way. You guys can share what you've learned and you can also go head to head against different challenges. I know that a lot of teachers use this website. My Latin teacher used to use it um, and it's just overall really useful. If you haven't given it a go, then I really recommend. It helps with different kinds of learners. If you're a visual learner, then it's really useful. But if you also like to hear things and have them spoken to you, there are options that it will speak to you, which is really useful. Moreno, Morena. And yeah, it's just a brilliant website to help with revision, to help with learning and memorizing different things. So they were my top five useful websites for students, sleepy time, to-do lists, keep me out, Grammarly, and Quizlet. There are plenty of different websites out there for students but I thought that I would give you my top five that I love and that I use. If you guys have used any of these before then please let me know your thoughts and if you guys want to see any more of these websites then make sure to let me know and give it a thumbs up if you want to see a part two. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did then make sure to let me know, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.